Hello and welcome to my new demo. What am I demoing? I'm going to demonstrate how to uh, build a cowboy based web server uh, in Erlang using ZX. Um, all the cowboy stuff's been packaged for ZX. It's in the it, it's in that universe now and it's very easy to take advantage of uh, to the point that I decided it made sense to go ahead and just um, add a project template to ZX that just starts you off right away with Cowboy, this, like, probably the simplest Cowboy project that is stateful you could possibly possibly make. So once you learn this template, which you'll know by the end of this, uh, five minutes from now, you'll know this because it's so easy. Um, you can just template a Cowboy project, start running, have a web thing that actually works. Uh, so without further ado, I'm going to start with ZX create a uh, project. Now I've got Erlang R25 on the system and I have a ZX on the system and that's all that I need. Um, ZX create project. I'm going to pick number two, a cowboy based web service, this thingy. So two, uh, the project name is going to be a web thingy. Well, with one, uh, one capital on thingy package realm dot picket only have a TPR. So package name, AWT. How about that? Uh, version blah, a prefix awt so all the modules will be named awt underscore something author's name is going to be me uh email address oh no it gets spammed which i do anyway um license selection i'll do mit project description it is a web thingy duh project repo don't have one yet don't have one yet you can change those later with a zx uh, i think it's update meta uh, whatever look in zx help will tell you um and that's it so yeah sure good that's fine Go to AWT, whatever the package name is, it creates a directory called that. Um, so we're going to use ZXH instead of ZX. I want to call ZXH to get a uh, an Erlang shell that I can interact with, so I can like shut it down and stuff. Um, run local. Run local is what you call to run a project from inside the root of that project's own directory. If you want to run a project that that's also local but it's defined somewhere else. It's a different directory, you do run dir and give it a path argument. Uh, if you just want to run a project from anywhere, you do zx run and then the package name. If it's in the if it's in the repos, it'll pull everything in and run it. So zx run local. Let's give this a try. So okay, it's pulling all the dependencies here. Uh, it's fetching uh, cowboy ranch cowlib blah, um, recompiling all this stuff. There's warnings here. These warnings are because like the behavior cowboy sub protocol is undefined. Well, cowboy sub wherever this is cowboy sub protocol i lost track of it somewhere um okay low look at that okay cowboy sub protocol is not defined yet because this thing that's using that behavior was built before the behavior itself was <laughs> was built so um so it didn't have the definition yet so the first time through you're gonna get that because the, you know that's that's out of order uh okay so anyway this is already running if i go to um, localhost 8080. Okay, hello world. I we've had one hits, one hits, whatever, one hit so far. If I F5, so I'm going to uh, do a page refresh. Two, three, four, five. Yeah. So if I just keep doing that, I will keep getting more hits. Uh, that tells us two things. One, this is dynamically generated, and two, it's dynamically generated based on an ongoing state. Um, and we'll look at that real quick, so you know where this is so that you can customize this project as quickly as you create it. So if you uh, look at the project structure, it's just like any airline project you're used to seeing. I'm going to go into source, look at the files in there, awt.arrow, that's our application module. Uh, awt state is the stateful thing that remembers how many hits we've had. So this is a gen server that you can uh, save a key value to, and you can read that key value back using the same semantics that you would have with maps, because inside that's actually all it is. It's a map. Um, and supervisor who owns this guy, uh, it's the parent of AWT state and AWT top is the, um, top directory, uh, dispatch handler for AWT. So the cowboy route, uh, which we can look at right now in awt.arrow. Um, so in start, the application start, uh, we start Sassel, we start Cowboy, and then we define 
if you know how Cowboy works, then you're already familiar with how routes are defined. So this is a top level route. Uh, that any hit or request to that to, to the top is going to go to a module called AWT top, which you just saw in that directory. Um, you know, build the dispatch thing. But let's see. So then we start the listener. We're starting on port 8080. I just put that in there because it's a common port. Um, customize that or write this so that it pulls that from a configuration or whatever you want to do. I didn't want to write a whole bunch of like specific stuff that you'd have to go like go back and change. Um, so that's all that's all there is to that. Uh, the AWT top, that top request handler. Um, this is the uh, cowboy, you know, the, the callback for handling whatever that URL is. State in this case is ignored because it's like an empty list. It doesn't matter right now. Um, it will matter when you're doing a complex web thing. doesn't matter right now. Uh, so it gets hits that number. It calls AWT state read hits. And if it doesn't know what that key is yet, it returns an error. Like I said, it's the maps maps find semantic. Um, so one, that'd be the first hit. Uh, save hits is hits plus one. And then make a string out of it, which is just this. Uh, and that's it. That's the whole thing. So if you want to, you know, template a very quick airline web service, this is the f probably the fastest way to do it. CX create project, pick cowboy, uh, pick your project name and start it up and then start editing. Um, this, this thing here, write a new handle, new uh, callback module, whatever you want to do, change the routes up, you know, knock yourself out. Cowboy has tons of features you can do anything with that you might dream of so uh that's it that's the entire demo i will be carrying on with this in the neck i'm going to make another video after this that just continues exactly from here and all it's going to do is uh change this project from being a stripped down do nothing templated web service to being a uh a web server that can talk to the eternity blockchain and query you know, query the chain or do whatever you want to do with the chain. Um, but you can talk to the talk to a blockchain so you can in the same amount of time it took to make this template project, we can augment it with the ability to talk to the Eternity blockchain. And from there, I mean, sky's the limit. You can do whatever you want uh, from that point because you have a full airline system to play with and you have a complete blockchain you can talk to. So um, I will be showing that next. Uh, as far as getting a hold of ZX, um, all you have to have is have Erlang on your system. And if you look at the, uh, I'll put a link in the description below. Um, there's a one line command to get that to install on your system. If you're on a, a Unix type system, if you're on Windows, uh, there's an installer for that. So um, anyway, that's it. Thank you. Thank you for watching. I uh, hope to see you in the next video.